This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. One of the country's top boxers finally has his own facility where he can train the next generation of Bahamian fighters. We get that story tonight from Kelsey Johnson. It's a dream come true for Bahamian boxer Misha Major Payne, the opening of a local boxing gym in his name. Major took over the old amateur boxing workout facility in the Blue Hill Sporting Complex and put his own twist and stamp of approval on it. Well, first of all, I got to give Almighty God thanks. You know, um, thanks to the Amateur Boxing Federation, Mr. Welding Miller, the president, you know, for allowing me to use this facility and, you know, turn it into what it should be into, a real boxing gym, and hopefully we could get it to the point where we could bring on international fighters, you know, world-class fighters to come and come down here for training camp. You know, like I said before, you know, boxing is sports tourism, so. But also got to thank, you know, Sensei Store, Gregory Store, for allowing me to use this facility to um, get the Major Pain Boxing Club started, and so everything is falling in place, and I know it's for the opportunity. Major said the facility is open to all persons who are interested in training for boxing matches, as well as staying in shape. Right now, we have 10, about 10 or 12 kids signed up, and yesterday, like five or six new kids in the Camp Road community came to me, you know, wanted to want to be a part of the club, but I told them, you know, make sure they had to let their parents fill out the application form. And, you know, I expect the club to really grow, you know, because, you know, I'm um, the director of a park organization, and it ain't just a major pain boxing club, you know, a part is like two, two organizations, you know, come together, and we can uh, be able to, uh, you know, see some world-class fighters come out, of, come out of this building. The super featherweight fighter Major is currently doing therapy sessions, trying to nurse an injury that he got while fighting Roger Rosa on December 5th, 2014. The fight was ruled no contest. Kelsey Johnson, ZNS Total Sports. All right, thanks a lot, Kelsey. Well, following the holiday break, the New Providence Basketball Association was back in action last night with a doubleheader at the AF Adderley Gym. Up first was a matchup between the Pyramid Food Rockets and the COB Caribs. The Caribs getting out to a fast start. Glenn Davis fakes the three, drives the lane, basket good. Rockets with the ball now. David Taylor drives and hands off to Rashad McKenzie for an easy deuce. Rockets running here, ball ends up in the hands of Corey Williams, he'll dial it up from downtown. Short clock winding down on the Rockets, Jamal Knowles gets a good look and that three is good to beat the buzzer. COB still hanging around in the second half, Lang misses the jumper but he follows his shot and gets the put back. Rockets crashing the offensive boards as well, Knowles puts in two more and the Rockets hold off the Caribs 77-74. On to the feature game now between the PJ Stingers and Commonwealth Bank Giants. Devin Ferguson with the ball for the Stingers, and that floater is good. Ferguson looking for more here. Shot is off, but Abel Joseph there to clean it up. Vernon Stubbs on the baseline here, and the Stingers put two more on the board. Giants looking for a trivecta here. It's no good, but Mario Dean there for the putback. Another three-point miss for the Giants, but again, they are there for the offensive board, and Lindrick Store scores. Really unselfish ball here from the Giants. Michael Furley Bain finds Mark Hanna, and the Giants go up big, 43-25 at the break. In the second half, Giants continuing to pour it on. Jeff Henfield drives, and the floater is good. Kevin Henze running the floor here, and he takes it all the way by himself. Elvado borrows strong to the hole here. Hoop and harm. Giants win 90 15 regatta season is underway, and as Kelsey Johnson tells us, one corporate sponsor is fully on board. Local sloop sailors will be smiling all the way to the bank now that the Asu Draw Company stepped on board and has pledged a financial donation of $200,000 this year for the sport. We'd like to work along with the government in continuing to assure full success of regatta and to ensure success where it enables to continue to grow and build sustainable communities. The King Aaron Gibson All for One Regatta is the second on this year to benefit from the generous commitment from the local number house. Exu Draw gave the committee $2,500 yesterday. The company also assisted the Bull of Red Regatta, which took place in Georgetown, Exuma, on the weekend. The financial assistance is timely and will go hand in hand with the major announcements that will be made this weekend. This, according to Reverend Dr. Philip McPhee, a regatta consultant for the government of the Bahamas. My minister will in his opening of the regatta season on Saturday, we'll declare some new initiatives 
and opportunities for sailors within the Bahamas that you have not heard before. It is the beginning of the track to the recognition by our Prime Minister to officially establish in this year sloop sailing as our national sport. And so this is a great start uh, uh, towards that announcement. Kelsey Johnson, ZNS Total Sports. Now, as you would have just heard, ASU Draw's sponsorship went a long way in helping to pull off the Bull Ridge Class C Regatta last weekend in Exuma. However, they were not the only corporate sponsor pledging their support, as Sandals Emerald Bay also played a big role. Something we've sponsored since we've been here uh, over the last few years. And, uh, you know, we, we have a civic responsibility where all of these events are concerned, whether it's the Bull Ridge Regatta, the um, Heritage Festival, we're uh, main sponsors for that, the, um, you know, obviously the main regatta. Um, so, and even the smaller homecomings throughout the island, um, you know, that they are very important to the community, they're important to Exuma. And um, it's always a pleasure that we can support um, either financially or in any other way with those events throughout the year and that will do it for sports stay tuned the bahamas tonight comes back after the break this is zns total sports brought to you by fourth terrace diagnostic center